Hey, what's up guys? Drew here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys every shortcut you need to know in Adobe After Effects. If you guys are new here, you should subscribe because I post helpful tutorials for editors, and make sure to leave a like if you enjoy, and without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so these shortcuts are somewhat universal across different softwares and are pretty basic. So the first shortcut is your save shortcut, which can be used by pressing Control S and Command S. I would press this every chance you get just to be sure your work isn't lost, as I've had this happen many, many times. Um, it's probably your most useful shortcut. Your next shortcut is Control O. And this shortcut allows you to open your AE projects, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Your next shortcut is Control i and this is your import shortcut that lets you import clips, pictures, etc. Uh, I don't really use it much, I usually just drag in my like things, but nevertheless it's there. And that pretty much wraps it up for all your basic interface shortcuts. Alright, so all of these shortcuts can be used to create shapes, a mask, or add a text layer. Your first shortcut is V, which is used when you want to switch back to your normal cursor. Side note, you have to click out of your timeline uh, for most of these to work, so like click on your preview picture and it'll work. Your next shortcut is H, or holding space in like dragging this one is used to move around your preview screen and how you view it without ever changing like the position of your clip w is your shape rotation tool and y is your pan behind or anchor tool q is your shape tool which can be pressed multiple times to cycle through all the different shapes g is your pen tool which i think is pretty cool um you can do a lot of unique things with this one t is your text tool and control B is your brush slash stamp slash eraser tool. Uh, it can all be cycled through by pressing it multiple times. Alt W is your roto brush tool. And this one is super useful because it's basically like an auto mask. So uh, you could easily mask out your clips and it does it for you. Uh, I use this one a lot. And lastly, control P is your puppet pen tool. Okay, so all of these shortcuts are going to be used on everything in your timeline and are, to me, the most useful while editing. Your first shortcut is the star. This is going to add markers to your timeline or on your clip that are really useful when marking beats and marking transition spots. The next shortcut is Control shift c This is going to pre-comp or pre-compose your clips. Uh, which is useful because it'll take all the assets that you pre-comp and put them into its own mini composition that you can change when you want. Another really good shortcut is Control D. Uh, this is your duplicate tool and it's pretty self-explanatory. It just duplicates like one-to-one -one whatever you have selected. The next shortcut is Control shift D. Uh, this is by far my most used shortcut. Uh, and all it does is cut your clip or asset that's on the timeline. Uh, wherever your playhead is placed. It's extremely useful for cutting clips and audios. And lastly, your shortcuts are gonna be I and O. I is the shortcut that jumps to the very start of your clip and is really useful and saves a lot of time. And O does the same thing, but it jumps to the end of your clip. These shortcuts are used to open any layer properties quickly. And all you need to do is select the layer in the timeline and use the shortcuts to open up the settings. S opens up your scale settings. P opens up your position settings. R opens up your rotation settings. A opens up your anchor point settings. And T is your clip's opacity settings. And with that, you should be able to efficiently use AE. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you liked and subscribed for more tutorials just like this one. Let me know what you guys want next in the comments, and thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.